For this video, we are going to cover John Deere Generation 4 displays and auto track AB curves. So let's go ahead and create a new AB curve. Uh, we'll select our set track button and then new track. So we'll select AB curve and then you can see uh, our track name defaulted to track 2, which we're going to keep. And let's change our field to field north and select OK. And we'll select OK again. So you can see we must select start to begin and let's go ahead and do that and then increase our vehicle speed. And I'll zoom out. So one thing I want to show here initially is that at the beginning of our line I, we're going to add a 90 meter or 300 foot line extension to that beginning point. Uh, the reason for that is you come back around in the field uh, to line up uh, with that line. It's a lot easier to do that with that straight line extension. When we get to our end of the line and press done, we're also going to add a 90 meter or 300 foot line extension to that as well. And you'll notice that as we end our line. So when we're in this curvy mode right here, and we can easily toggle between the, the two, the line we're creating is going to follow the path of the tractor. So as we turn, that line is going to follow our uh, tractor path. When we select this straight button, uh, we're going to snap a straight line from when we've selected that button to wherever the tractor is. So you're going to notice as we drive the tractor, uh, that straight line is changing. To get that straight line to uh, be solid like our curve mode, we toggle back to the curve mode or select done. Uh, in this case, we're going to toggle back to the curve mode. You can see that now the tractor uh, is driving and our line is following that path. So let's go ahead and select done and then stop our tractor. And you're going to notice that that uh, 90 meter 300 foot line extension got added and uh, you're also going to see that we're now in 3 pi and that we need to press the resume switch uh, to activate auto track so uh, now that we've pressed done you saw the calculating curves we're going to generate five tracks in both directions so we're going to generate five tracks uh, to the left and five tracks to the right uh, let's go ahead and increase our speed and press the resume switch to activate auto track. So you're going to see when we get close to the end of path, we're going to get a end of path warning. Uh, one thing I want to show here is that as we get closer to that end of path, you're going to notice that uh, you see a white line extension. This isn't a additional recording. Uh, it's simply helping us to line up on that straight section. So once we've added that straight section, uh, once we get past the end of this, you're going to notice that we can keep auto tracking and that the, there's an additional line extension to help us better line up on this uh, guidance track. So you notice we're past your recorded line and we're still auto tracking. Uh, this is just to be able to continue that line for our convenience. So we can press the resume switch uh, to activate auto track uh, when we have the white line extension. And you'll notice that we're one, we'll go ahead and stop, we're one track uh, from our original one, and the relative direction of that is west. So let's increase our speed. And then let's uh, go ahead and drive towards the end of our AB curve. You're noticing that the track number is changing as we're driving. Uh, when we get to this last track here, we're going to see additional tracks generated. So we'll go ahead and stop. Once we get to the end of the uh, original five generated tracks in, in either direction, uh, ten additional tracks are generated uh, as we approach those five. So now we're going to have ten additional tracks. Say we started the tractor up um, a mile away from the last original uh, generated track. The lines are not going to generate to you. Uh, you have to be within a quarter mile 
of the last generated track for the lines to generate to you. So that's just something to be aware of. Uh, if you're far away from the field where you created these or where you last generated them, uh, they're not going to generate to you. If you're within that quarter mile, uh, they will generate, uh, but it may take some time if you're towards the end of that quarter mile range. To change AB curve line extension settings, go to Autotrack Guidance Settings. Tab down to AB Curves. Toggle on or off extensions as desired. Changing this setting does not add or remove extensions to previously recorded AB curves. Extensions may need to be turned off to prevent lines from crossing each other. If lines cross, the remaining curves may fail to generate. Thanks for watching.